Hi folks, in this video we'll assemble the second desktop BattleBot. In the last video we have assembled a flipper class bot. This one also has a flipping mechanism. I strongly advise you to watch it if you didn't. For the most part of this project we use similar components, so it's not necessary to go into details. To build the flipper we use a ready-made project and for the second bot with the drum we sketched our own design to be sure that all internal parts would fit. Many holes had to be cut into the case to make the design simpler to qualify to the maximum 150 grams of this category. Here we will use Flysky equipment and standard receiver. The drum will be driven by this brushless motor from a quadcopter. A link to the project page with links to all components, as always, is in description. First, get rid of the power toggle switches on the regulators and solder the jumpers. We also shorten the signal wires to the receiver and the power wires of the motors. We used a standard left hand engine, thus the nut will be tightening when the drum rotates and hits. If you use an engine with the right hand thread, then the housing model will need to be mirrored before printing, so that the engine is screwed on the other side. The wheels are the same as the flipper, printed discs with G2 belt glued on. We connect the power wires and solder the battery connector. We connect all the regulators to the receiver, wheels to the second and third channel and the drum to the fifth or sixth. They are by default configured for convenient knobs on the control equipment. Pack the wires and close the lid. Test. The drum engine is so heavy that the center of gravity is strongly shifted forward and to the left, because the right wheel almost doesn't touch the surface. So I decided to print a new case. I moved the wheels closer to the center, and at the back I removed all weight saving holes and moved the receiver with the battery there. Now at least we have some kind of control, though only with the drum turned off. 
I tried my best, but still collecting the bot from improvised parts. I couldn't get into the maximum weight for this category, 150 grams. The bot turned out to be 30-40 grams heavier. The drum engine, like the drum itself, is too large and heavy. Need a smaller engine. It's also advisable to replace the standard receiver with a smaller type. Find other controls, smaller and easier. Powerful ones that we are using here are not required anyway. You can also use a smaller battery. All this should help to collect the bot, the weight of which will not exceed the maximum. Ok, let's see what this thing is capable of. In the blue corner, a brand new bot with a vertical drum. In the red corner, flipper from a previous video. Farouk never answered my letter, so we have to start without him. I will not bore you and show all the fights footage because we are new to this business and therefore it's not interesting to look at it yet, but I will show you a cut from the most interesting moments. I must also say that the battles of such robots, equipped with rotating weapons, should take place in an arena with polycarbonate walls. I didn't have such an arena, so we stood far from the table and used protective masks so that nothing would fly into the face. And please, do not try to repeat this at home, follow safety precautions. By the way, controlling this thing's life is much more interesting than looking at it on the screen. The walking bot, which acted as a judge, got a good beating. 4 servers out of 12 died. This is probably the reason why walking bots are not used as battle ones. Well, at least for now. The drum and engine are a little battered, but there are no other damages. And here only the lifting wedge was torn off, everything else is in place, even the wheels were not damaged. And we will end here today. Personally, I really like to assemble such bots. Later, I will surely collect a few more, probably in other, heavier weight categories. Do not forget to like this video and check out the other videos on the channel. Subscribe to our social networks to be informed of ongoing projects. Good luck to everyone and see you soon!